Hi everyone, welcome back to Socially Connected. My name is Himesha, you know that. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to raise your child to be a bookworm. Now, by no means I'm a perfect mother, but there are a few things that I prefer how they turned out to be because of the actions I took. What makes me qualified to t give you tips about this topic? This little girl. Yes, this is my eight-year-old daughter, Selena. She lives and breathes books. She absolutely loves books. Now, of course, she wasn't born like this. We worked really hard at it. Are you ready to take some tips then? To stop both you and me getting confused, I'm going to break this topic into two. One, before they start reading. Two, after they start reading. Before they start reading, like before four or five years old, they rely on you to read to them. When they're really young, they like these touch and feel books and books with lots of pictures in them, colourful books. And at the time they start understanding their nighttime routine, you can start reading a bedtime story. They love that cuddle time and spending time with you and winding down after a day of lots, lots of playing. What makes reading interesting for them is that snuggling up time and looking at pictures when they're a little bit older, two years to four or five years old, they still like cuddling time, but they also like discussing about the pictures, discussing about the character. They actually enjoy listening to the story. Also during this time, your child will show you that they like certain type of books. So you can read to them those type of books, for example, fairies, dinosaurs, cars or animals. Now let's move on to after they can read. So your child would be either five or six years old. And this is where you really have to start working. So I'll tell you a few things I did do to help the situation and a few things I didn't do. I'll start with the things I didn't do. No TV. So my daughter absolutely loves TV and she gets transfixed when she watches TV. Switching the TV off was a battle every single day. So I physically removed the TV off my wall and put it in a cupboard. Now not all the children are like this, some children are not interested in the TV at all or some children just watch a sensible amount so you really have to cater this according to your child. No devices, my daughter doesn't own an iPad, a tablet or an iPhone, any kind of electronic device that would be more interesting than reading a book. No fun, mommy's phone. Now, my phone is absolutely empty, there are no songs in it or no games in it. I only have the apps I absolutely need, so there is no reason for Selena to take my phone to have fun. Now let's move on to the things I did do to help the situation. Leave books absolutely everywhere. So I left books everywhere in the house, in Selena's bedroom, in my bedroom, in the living room. So when they're bored, what do they do? Pick a book up keep books in the car. Now I'm not that good at multitasking so I prefer not to talk while I drive so I always keep books in the car and I ask Selena to read a book instead of talking to me so I don't get distracted and she got used to that because she was doing it since she was really young. Now when we go out the door she has a book in her hand I don't have to even remind her. Do pick books that they like to read. My daughter had a period she absolutely loved reading fairy books and then there was another time she loved reading funny books. But this time period, we are not trying to get them to learn lots of information. We are not trying to get them to be intellectual. We are doing this step before that. We are trying to get them to enjoy reading books and get addicted to books first. For that, we have to make it fun and interesting. So the more you give the things they like to read, they will get into that habit of getting completely getting lost in a book. What you want to do is try and get them addicted to books. Get them that their happiness is reading a book. Of course, if your child likes those books with lots of information where they can learn lots of stuff, by all means, please get them those books. But most of the times, that's not the case get your child what they like to read. Read to your child and read with your child. So as well as the bedtime story during the day, you can read to them. Also, you can read with them. Pick up a grown-up book, sit next to them and read with them. They love that snuggling time. They're still children. Associate that 
snuggling, loved and cozy feeling with reading. So the reading is always going to be a pleasant memory in their head. So I didn't do all those things and I did all those things for about a couple of years. And then about when Selena was six years old, she was pro proper addicted to books. And you know your child is ready to move on to bigger books when they can focus on books for a longer period of time. I knew this when Selena started reading a book after a book. She would sit and she would finish a um, set of books in one go. Moving to bigger books means less pictures and less colors. It's boring and Selena was not that ready to move on to those type of books because Selena really enjoys looking at pictures and the colors. So I was thinking how can I get Selena to move on to bigger books now because she's not that keen on them and at the same time she was turning seven years old. I made a big deal out of it. I bought a really nice book. It was Ice Monster by David Williams. I put it in a really nice gift box and I wrapped it up with a bow. I wrote a note and put in it. I said, you are a big girl now, so you get a really big book to read. This is, you know, this is your, you know, first step to your grown up self. She was so proud to turn seven years old. She was so proud to be a big girl. She was on board straight away. She loved the book. The book is about a mammoth and a mammoth is an animal, Selena loves animals and on the front of the book it said a free woolly mammoth inside the book. That was catchy. So Selena absolutely loved receiving that book and she was straight on it reading. Then it turned out to be the book was funny as well. She really enjoyed that as well. And so far she's read the book more than once. Now feel free to use the same method if you'd like to, if you think it will work on your child. But remember, every child is different. Your child might be ready at six years old or seven years old or eight years old. So go at their speed. I have bought Selena loads of loads of loads of books, but she always reads the same books because she has made that connection with those books. She loves them and she wants to read them again and again. She doesn't want to move on to another book. So what I would do is at bedtime I would pick up one of those books and I would start reading one of those and just to show her that this is an interesting book and of course instantly she falls in love and she wants me to read one chapter every single night. And it's a lot of reading because they are smaller writing and loads more pages. It's much more to read than the younger books. But I don't mind, I enjoy it because that way every night I'm reading a chapter and I'm finishing a book in no time as well. What she does is after I read one chapter in the night, she knows this story is really interesting. She would read ahead in the daytime. So the next night we go to read the second chapter, she already knows what's happening but she still enjoys me reading it to her because it's cuddling and she gets to share the expressions and the story with me and I really enjoy it too. Lastly, to sum it up, all I have to say is make sure your child has fun reading and make sure you make it fun for them and not make it a regimental hardcore process for them. Have plenty of books around and have plenty of time available for them to read. So remove those distractions so they will voluntarily pick up a book to read and associate that experience with pleasant memories like cuddling, snuggling up and sharing thoughts. Something I really like to mention is where Selena is at with her reading now. She's showing proper bookworm characteristics. She says these phrases like, Mommy, I miss that book. See, Mommy, I've come to the last few pages and I don't want to finish it. What am I going to do when I finish this book? And then she, she would finish a book and say, I miss the book, Mommy. I wish there was more books like sequels after this book so I can continue. So I always tell her, Honey, let's pick up another book. You know, and I'm sure you will find that book very interesting as well. I hope you took some tips from me and I hope your child loves reading and loves books and you know that it's a wonderful world to be in, to be lost in a book. It's a wonderful way to learn lots of new things, 
to learn about people and countries and cultures. Reading a book is actually like traveling and it's very relaxing as well and it's like having a friend. So I hope you child start to enjoy that magnificent world and that makes you happy as well. Please do like this video and comment what you thought about the video and comment and let me know how your child is doing with reading. Do they like reading as well? And please do subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.